Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Tigers versus Rangers Major League Baseball matchup on Tuesday, April 16th, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at Pick Dogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. Use the discount code PICK for 15% off. We also have products meant for people with big bankrolls who make big bets, like $500,000 or more. Of course, uh, these products, though, are custom-made, so they're not available on the website. They're easy to get. You just got to text the number you see on the website. So be sure. If you make big bets like I do, have a big bankroll, text that number. But let's get to it. Got the Tigers taking on the Rangers, two teams with pretty high expectations coming in. Two teams that are, you know, we've seen the highs and the lows from these teams already. And coming into this one, well, neither of them really at the top of their game. But the, the Tigers going with Casey Mize in this thing. And John Gray gets the bump for the uh, Rangers. Casey Mize, of course, missed all of last season. He's a former number one overall pick. So the expectations and uh, what he can deliver, the potential, as they say, that world of potential that he sits on, is a pretty high ceiling. And uh, so far, Mize, 9.3, nine and a third innings uh, this season, 10 hits, five earned runs, six strikeouts, three walks, and a home run. Not horrible, 4.82 ERA. We're talking a limited body of work here. 4.1 innings against the Mets and uh, five innings against the Pirates last time out. So, you know, Mize certainly has some, uh, some you know, work ahead of him. They're not going to just throw him out there and try and extend him and do any of those crazy things with him because, you know, at, at this point, it's like this guy has a big, big future. So why would you even, why would you even risk it? John Gray on the mound here for the Rangers. Of course, uh, he is a hard thrower. He's got a 4.38 ERA. He's gone 12 and a third. He's got an 0-1 record. Not that that means anything for starting pitching. He's allowed 15 hits and eight runs. Six of those earns, seven walks. So not his own best friend. But like I said, he's got a hard thrower. So he's 14 strikeouts in 12 and a third with two home runs allowed. So John Gray is a guy that we know has a super high ceiling, but at the same time when he runs out of gas is when he usually gets hit. But last time out was actually a really strong outing for him. And most of that ERA that you see is from his first start of the season when he went 3.2 innings against the Cubs and allowed five runs. The, the next time out, he allowed two runs, but neither of those were earned against the Astros in a win. And last time, a one nothing loser to the A's, allowing three hits and a run over five innings. It was a solo home run, and that was the only run scored in the entire game. Rare for a Rangers game, and that that's for sure. The Tigers are 15-7 uh, and seven in their last 22 at home and the Rangers 14 and 3 still in their last 17 on the road so something's got to give here the Rangers hitting right-handed pitching at 274 lefties at 235 starting pitchers 3.65 and the bullpen at 5.17 that Tigers bullpen has been on fire 1.86 ERA but the Tiger bats just aren't really there I think this one's going to be a little bit more of a rumble and a high higher scoring game and I think that favors the Rangers I'm going to take the Rangers in this one, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.